Many things will come at you. There are going to be times that you're going to want to give up. But you don't have the permission to do so. The stage is set. And it's time to rock and roll. You're going to feel the heat. But you got to be cool. You got to calm your storm. You are walking into an arena and you must be ready to work. There could be no weakness. There could be no excuses. Why does life have to be so difficult? Put away the destructive mindset. And if you stumble and fall, remember the ground will never apologize to you. It is time to take control of your now. To be able to get back in the driver's seat. To understand that you must be tougher than your life. It's not done yet. Welcome to the jungle. It's a day to define who you truly are inside. You better be ready to show out. Life. How beautiful it is. How amazing it is to be able to rise up in the morning and have that sun shine on your face rather than on your grave. What makes life so unique and so beautiful? It is beautiful because whatever you have that you may be facing, what you may be dealing with, life is still good. Life has so many moving parts, but life is always good. Every day is a new day and another opportunity that others may not have. This life that you have been given, this life that you are temporarily holding on to, this life that has been just given to you for only temporary reasons, has more meaning than you can ever imagine. So many people in the world take life for granted instead of realizing that you have to take the opportunity to live it the best way you know how. Now on this journey of life, you're gonna face a significant amount of circumstances, a significant amount of challenges. You're gonna fall into areas that you cannot understand. And maybe it's not in the position for you to understand at that moment. When you start to feel that you are in a position that you don't love your life, then shame on you. Because your life is a beautiful thing. And no one deserves to ruin it. No one deserves to control it. No one deserves to steal your joy. Your life is your life and you have the right to live it the best way you can. You must discipline yourself and take full control and responsibility for the outcome or whatever it is that you are seeking at this moment. There are gonna be times that you will see something that is standing right before you and you may not even believe that it's a reality. You may think that it's an optical illusion but this opportunity that you are facing that is standing directly in front of you you must own it and take charge. You have to commit to everything that you do but you must make sure that you are committing to the possibilities 
and not the negativity. I'm letting you know right now that you are a possible individual. You are a possible being. You are a possible reality. And this is the time for you to recognize that. Don't stop now. Don't give up on now. Find the way that you are recognizing within yourself and build on it. Just like clay, you must shape it. You must mold it. And you must make it a masterpiece. How many times have you said you couldn't do it? How many times did you say that you didn't have the strength? How many times? How many more times? When is enough going to be enough? When are you going to rise up and realize your true potential? When are you going to commit to your real truth? Because your words matter. This is it. Your journey can be seen millions and millions of miles away. And everything that you think, therefore you shall be. Be greater than your fears. Be stronger than your doubts. Because your mind is very powerful. Stop being sorry and start doing better. Better within you. Better than anyone has ever seen. Better than your mistakes. Better than your failures. Better than those that doubted you. Lift yourself up. Stop with the excuses. Stop doing things that you know that is not right. Doing all the things that will make you better depends on how you think, how you feel, what you do, how you proceed. There are going to be times that you're going to want to give up, but you don't have the permission to do so. You must carry on the good fight. What great is in you? If you don't believe of your greatness that you possess inside. What good is your greatness? If you don't stand on it. How can you hold on to who you really are inside? The water may be a little rough. The tide could be coming in. But you got to keep on fighting. You got to keep on swimming. This path that you are taking right now, this emptiness that you are feeling right now, it is only a temporary match, a temporary thing that is going on inside of you right now. It's only temporary, but it is necessary. It is necessary that you struggle. It is necessary that you feel alone. It is necessary that you have to continue to go forward. This is not the time to quit. This is not the time to give up. Even when you think you're weak, you have a way to be strong. Yes, darkness is upon you. But there will come a time the sun will shine. Dawn is coming. The sun is going to rise and you will see the light within you nothing can stop this because that light has already been there that light is embedded in you that light exists in you the time has come for you to succeed for you to stand tall for you to understand that you got a mission and your mission is not done yet every day it's not going to be a good day but every day is a blessed day because you are above the ground you are walking tall there is no time for sorrow because misery has no place in your life. The mind is a powerful weapon. Because no matter what's happening, your mind does matter. And if you put the wrong things inside of your mind, 
The best things won't come out. The best of you won't show up. Do you feel that all you know is sorrow? Why do you allow misery to handcuff you, to chain you down? Resurrect yourself from the pit of darkness because misery doesn't have the right to control your life. When the rest of the world says no to you, you say yes to yourself. You say yes, I believe. You say yes, I can do it. You say yes, nothing can stop me. There's no time to give up. This is the opportunity. Be greater than your fears. Be stronger than your doubts. Make your mind matter. Misery. It will continue to do all that is necessary to succeed. Misery is on a mission to take everything away from you. Because your mind is very powerful. Bring in the goodness. Moving with a purpose. Conditioning your mind is what this is about. Today is that day. And when and if tomorrow comes for you, be even more powerful. Be stronger than you've ever been. Rectify in yourself. Believe in yourself. Keep that faith in yourself. Don't let the outside interference stop your growth. Don't let those that doubted you and said that you did not have it hold you back. Don't let the losses keep you down. Because if you're down, how would you understand what it means to get up? What is good about being miserable? What is misery doing for you? What has misery done for you lately? Has it given you everything that you need? Has it made you a better person? Your mind, your abilities, your faith within yourself is all that you need. The steps that you take in your life it's a process within itself. It won't be easy. But you don't deserve easy. Easy is not something that you should be looking for. Embrace all of the challenges that are necessary. But you continue to fight forward. You continue to believe in yourself. How do we allow ourselves to elevate the game? To go higher than we've ever gone before? How do we escape from the misery? The joy is what we seek. The joy of living. The joy of pursuing. The joy of believing. Are you ready to succeed? Are you prepared to move forward? Make it count. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. They say, they say a, mind a mind is a terrible thing, a to, terrible waste. thing to waste. The mind is so powerful it's so unique, it can do many things. And you are the one that is responsible for the thoughts that enter your mind. How 
do we, how do we, as individuals, as people, get away from misery? Get away from misery. How do we allow ourselves to elevate the game, to go higher than we've ever gone before? Gone before. How do we escape from the misery? Because misery has no place in your life. Misery is exactly what it is. Misery doesn't bring happiness. Misery is on a mission to take everything away from you. What is misery doing for you? What has misery done for you lately? Has it given you everything that you need? Has it made you a better person? Do you feel that all you know is sorrow? Why do you allow misery to handcuff you? To chain you down? The mind is a powerful weapon. It belongs to you. And everything that you think, therefore you shall be. Be greater than your fears. Be stronger than your doubts. Because your mind is very powerful. Bring in the goodness. Absorb the right energy. Moving with a purpose. Conditioning your mind is what this is about. Every day it's not going to be a good day. But every day is a blessed day. Because you are above the ground. You are walking tall. There is no time for sorrow. There is no time to give up. This is the opportunity, and the opportunity of a lifetime. The of a lifetime. When it starts to get tough, you must get a little bit tougher. You must understand that you are not the only one in this world that's got a story to tell. There are people that are buried right now that are in the ground, in the graves. Because the thing about life, it will always go on. It will always serve its purpose. Stop drowning and learn how to swim. You may have a great distance to get to shore. The water may be a little rough. The tide could be coming in. But you got to keep on fighting. You got to keep on swimming. You may go under a few times, but take a deep breath. Let it out. But you keep on swimming. You're not out of the fight. You continue to move on. There's going to be a lot of things swimming beneath your feet. There's going to be a lot of things that's going to try to drag you down. But you're not in the business to drown. You're in the business to live. Do not starve yourself from the beauty of life. There are going to be people out there in the world right now that don't understand the significance and what it takes to put in work. The title is Show Up. Show up and ready to work. Show up and ready to dig. Show up and ready to push. Show up and ready to run hard. You did not come here to hold yourself back. If you're having a bad day, it's a day to make a difference. It's a day to define who you truly are inside. Are you that individual that woke up this morning and didn't know if you wanted to show up today? 
You walked through the door and then you decided you weren't ready? You walked through the door and you said you weren't ready because you wasn't ready to accept the fact that this is not going to be an easy day? Welcome to the jungle! In the jungle, there are rules. And the rule is, survive. Survive the challenges. Know the difference between obstacles and opportunities. Opportunities always come. They will forever show up. But do you have the ability to overcome the obstacles that are standing in your way? Do you have the strength capacity to push through it? Are you powerful enough to persevere without fear, without doubt, no excuses? When weakness shows up, you must let weakness know to step aside because these reps that you still have left, you are responsible for, not weakness. Not your best friend. This is your time to shine. This is your time to push. This is your time to get the work done. This place that you decided to show up, you better be ready to show out. Get tight, get right, or get going. Your alarm clock is not responsible for you to show up. How dare you? How dare you complain? How dare you worry? How dare you give up? You don't have the right to give in. You don't have the right to make it all about you. Some of you that are listening to my voice you have been through certain things in your life and you felt that there was nothing that could be done. You believed that you did not have the strength to carry on. You trusted more in your failures than your success stories. You believed everything that went wrong never had a right ending to it. You believed that you wasn't worthy. You thought that it was over. How dare you think so much about things that doesn't concern you? How dare you think so much that just because it didn't work out. You have nothing else left to give of yourself. So many people in this world are fighting many battles that are tough, that are not forgiving, that makes them feel less, that makes them feel hopelessness. But it, you are the one, the individual, who feels so sorry and so less of yourself because certain things are not going the way you want them to go. So you want to give up. You want to say you're done. You're so sensitive about things and not realizing that sometimes things are going to push you down a little bit. Sometimes things are going to hurt you a little bit. Sometimes you're going to struggle a little bit. Sometimes everybody's not going to love you. Even though you're giving so much love to the world, the world ain't giving you enough love back. Why do you feel? that people owe you something. Ask yourself, 
What is it so much of yourself that you have yet to give? How much more of yourself have you given? Do you feel that you made enough sacrifices? Do you feel that you're so weak and you're so miserable that you have nothing else left of yourself to push yourself forward? You don't have the right to stop living because there are people in the world right now that want to live a little bit longer but they can't because they're fighting a disease that is killing them right now they can't do anything about this disease this disease is terminal they can't recover no matter how much they fight they can't come back from it although they're hoping for the best but the reality sets in and they know they have only so much time but you you are the one that's complaining so much you are the one that is worrying so much you are the most healthiest person around but yet you are so miserable you're so afraid of your mistakes you're so afraid of falling down you're so afraid of people talking about you but this person that you never met this person you never known in your life is fighting every day for their lives and you are complaining you are worrying you are stressing because your day is not going so great but this person, this other individual, these other people in the world, their life is on the countdown. But they're not down yet. They're still hoping for the best. They're still believing that maybe there's a chance. And they haven't given up yet. The heart of a champion. What does it take to really truly be a champion? Well, it takes more than excuses. It takes more than just giving yourself a pass. There are only so many champions in the world. And true champions understand what dedication and hard work really is. True champions understand if you're gonna be a lion, you got to know what it means to go through the jungle. You can't pretend or fake it just to make it, to be a champion. When everybody else is sleeping, the champion is the one that wakes up. The champion gets up before the sun comes up. The champion is the one that never lets the sun catch them sleeping. There will become a time when you have to realize that you got to put in the work and you got to understand that if you're going to do it, you better do it with the right attitude. Because attitude is what's going to take to get you to the level that you need to be and beyond it. Champions don't just come overnight. Champions have to grow. Champions have to work. Champions have to dig. Champions have to believe. Champions don't have time to wait around for something to happen on its own. Being a champion takes work, grit, and understanding that if you're trying to be better than the opponent, you got to work a little bit harder than the person that you're up against. You must build a mindset for success. A mindset that can endure pain and struggle because it will come. Your mindset will make or break you. A champion has to make significant sacrifices. A champion has to be disciplined. A champion has to be hungry. You got to dedicate everything about you. Train like a champion. Champions understand that discipline is always, always, always the key. There is no winning in excuses. There are no victories and giving up. You got to understand within you is greatness. Within you is something that is waiting.
to be awakened. You are the one that is responsible for this work that must be done. Everyone wants to be great at something, but wanting it and doing something about it and ultimately needing it is going to take work. It's going to take dedication because procrastination is the assassination of your motivation that would ultimately lead you to your destination. Make sure you understand that you're going to have to put something in it to get something out. A champion does not worry. It doesn't concern himself about challenges that they have to face. Bad things have to happen in our lives, ladies and gentlemen. We have to go through certain things. And this is what's going to make us better. This is what's going to make us stronger. But you've got to claim what it is that you are seeking in your life. Everybody is never going to be where they want to be in life because sometimes they focus too much on the bad things and not claiming the good times. Not claiming, hey, no matter what struggle I go through, I am going to make it. The beauty about the process is that you're learning something. You're learning about yourself. You're learning how to go through certain things. And you're learning how to build up. We are human beings and human beings sometimes act on emotions. But you have to harness your emotions. You have to understand that you got to go through something to get to the level that you want in your life. Make this day count. Put all your energy, put all your power into what you do today. You got to keep moving forward. You got to keep fighting for it. You got to keep trusting in yourself. You got to keep pushing because you got unfinished business. If you do not hold on to the goodness within you, then all the bad things that are surrounding you right now will ultimately destroy your possibilities and taking yourself further in your life. Don't you realize that you got to have faith in yourself every single day of your life? Maybe you did get rejected. It doesn't mean that you're out the game. It doesn't mean that it's over. You got to keep moving on. Take the steps. Maybe take a few steps back. Analyze the situation. And then keep pushing. Keep going. Stay hungry and believe. Just keep on grinding. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. But keep on grinding. You're gonna have those bad days. But keep on grinding. You're gonna wanna quit, but keep on grinding. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important part of your life. It is a decision that you have to make within yourself. No one is responsible for that. The grinder, you, the individual, the person that you are inside, will determine the outcome, whatever you're gonna do in your life. So you must continue to grind harder. You must continue to find a way and make a way out of no way. Don't wait for a handout. Don't wait for someone to tell you to do it. Do it because you need to do it. Do it because it must be done. There are gonna be all kinds of challenges that we all must face. You cannot live in this world without a challenge. You cannot live in this world without a struggle. Because with every struggle that you have been through, it will help you to be stronger. But you cannot give up. Don't be afraid of the hard work. Don't be afraid to grind a little bit harder. Don't be afraid to sweat a little bit. It's okay, man. This ain't the time to be sitting up there feeling sorry. This ain't the time to be saying you don't have what it takes. So if you get some setbacks, embrace it. Sure, every day is not gonna be a good day for you. Every day is not gonna always happen for you. But it's always something happening. But you got to make it happen for the right reasons. For every day of your life, you must continue to believe in yourself. For every day of your life, you must have enough faith and understanding that it's up to you to make that difference count. So continue to grind. Grind with everything you got. 
Be strong every day of your life. No matter what comes your way, keep grinding and keep moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Be productive, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business.